Columbus, Ohio, with the score tight and final seconds winding down, Penn State's Tony Carr dribbled across the center line and launched a desperation jumper with two Ohio State players in his face. The ball banked in off the glass, and Carr's teammates mobbed him on the Value City Arena court. The buzzer beater, it came seconds after Ohio State's Keita Bates die up tight it with a three-pointer, gave Penn State an 82-79 victory over the no. 13 Buckeyes on Thursday night. Ohio State lost for the first time in 10 Big Ten games this season. I think we definitely outplayed them from the tip, Carr said. We were just more focused, we were more hungry. Ohio State coach Chris Holtman wouldn't argue with that. Neither would his players, who were at the end of the grueling stretch of five games in 11 days. This is not unlike what we thought could happen at some point, Holtman said. We'll see how they respond. Ohio State played from behind the entire game and was out hustled on defense, allowing Penn State, 14 8, 4 5, to hit 11 of 14 shots from behind the three point line. He was the logical guy to take the final shot with a chance to win the game and give Penn State its first win over a ranked team this season. I was definitely rolling tonight, he said, and that shot kept it up. Bates Diop, who had been battling the flu and was questionable for the game, led Ohio State, 18-5, 9-1, with 25 points but was in foul trouble for much of the second half. He sat on the bench for a seven-minute chunk in the middle of the half. But he had three three-pointers in the last 207 to pull the Buckeyes back in it. He tied it with a three-pointer with five seconds left just before a car connected from deep as time ran out. Lamar Stevens added 15 points and Shep Garner 14 for Penn State, which hadn't beaten a team ranked as high as Ohio State on the road since 2009. Guard Josh Reeves, who rejoined the team after sitting out four games with academic issues, had 10 points. Jason Tate had 17 points and 10 rebounds for the Buckeyes. At no point one one Arizona 80, Colorado 71, Alonzo Trier scored 23 points, DeAndre Ayton added 20 and Arizona avenged its lone loss of the Pac-12 season. The 7-foot-1 Ayton, expected to be at or near the top of the NBA draft this year, was 12 of 12 at the foul line as the Buffaloes tried to get physical with the big rookie without much success. Dusan Ristic added 15 points on 7 of 8 shooting for the Wildcats, 17-4, 7-1 pack 12. George King scored 22 points for Colorado, 12-9, 4-5. No.15 Gonzaga 95 at Portland 79. Killian Tilly had 27 points and 7 rebounds, and no. 15 Gonzaga Cruz. Corey Kispert added a season high 23 points and 10 rebounds for the Bulldogs, who won their 20th straight conference road game. At no.16 St. Mary's 75. BYU 62, Jock Landale had 32 points and 14 rebounds and no. 16 St. Mary's pulled away in the second half for its 15th consecutive victory. The winning streak matches the longest in St. Mary's history. The Gales also won 15th straight in 2008 09. At 0.17 Wichita State 81, Central Florida 62, Shaquille Morris scored 19 points to lead Wichita State. Morris, demoted from his starting spot, was 8 of 10 from the floor in 21 minutes. Darrell Willis had 12 points and 9 rebounds for the Shockers, 16 4, 6 2 American Athletic Conference.
8 seconds left in regulation, helping Utah knock off Arizona State in overtime. Utah, 13 7, 5 4, Pac 12, led 79 77 late in overtime and had a chance to stretch it, but David Collette missed two free throws with 20. 9 seconds left. Arizona State, 15 5, 3 5, missed two shots on the next possession and Bearfield hit one of two free throws.